Welcome back to the Oaks. We are still in the first part of July and we are heading down to our wheat field to get that all harvested. Now the money has gone down ever so slightly by about 40 forty thousand pounds ish um i did a vote on the uh on my community page of and uh whether we should uh use the grain dryer or not so the answer was yes Aha. so what i'm doing now is i've set up a bit of an auto drive route um and a reverse course which works 95 percent of the time um the only slight issue is um the collisions on the building whoever made that mod like that i don't know um you watch it's not even going to get in this time <laughs> oh dear it, honestly it's been a little bit hit and miss um so yeah the plan is to move all of the barley um into the dryer and um wheat as well straight off the field into the dryer not going to activate it just yet because i need to source some wood chips so yeah that's the plan really um nice uh, steady um paced episode hopefully not too much going on I think um, one of the slight issues is with the steering axle on the trailer. It kind of uh, doesn't help things <laughs> when reversing into tight spaces with auto drive. So let's just get that backed up enough. So hopefully we don't hit the roof. There we go. I think I've got it set to grain door, so it hopefully won't be quite as uh, a higher tip. There we go. Lovely. So that's going to empty away. Um, once that's done, I'll stick it back on course play, and we'll just keep an eye on it. It's no big uh, deal to come and back it in every now and again. Um, yeah, we can start the harvest. Well, we're probably halfway around the first headland and already we're at uh, over 50 percent in the combine so reasonable yield um which is rather good so yeah i was quite pleased that um the vote uh, went the way of using the dryer one it will help us um to clear in the debt and two it's quite cool to use something that you've made um and show it off i suppose um but yeah it's um uh, there's i'm thinking about a few tweaks um to it that i might make um as an update obviously um different fuel types um maybe some repositioning of uh certain triggers um just things to improve it maybe i think um but yeah i'm in no rush to do it um it's doing reasonably well for downloads so yeah i'm very very happy with it um it's it still um well not, not surprises me i guess but I still find it very cool that i've managed to do that you know like get something onto mod hub and whatnot but yes so very pleased with that i am um, it's been a while since i've done any recording if i'm honest um last where are we now last friday so a friday or so ago for whenever this comes out um i just felt really sort of a bit meh um there was a lot of uh I posted, oh no, I sent it to Disturb because he was very busy with work and then busy uh, and we normally record. So um, let me just concentrate for one second. There we go. 
Um, so we weren't planning to uh, record. Um, and it was a good job because out the back of the house, this is what we want, um, they were felling trees. So, or lopping trees, ch trimming them. Um, so yeah, there was chainsaws going, there was a chipper going, and they were on all day, and I've got such a headache from it. Um, and I think what I'd have been doing, I'd been contracting on Port Farms, and uh, it, I think it was in July, and it was like dark at 7 p.m., like pitch, pitch black, and I'm like, why? <laughs> and it, for some reason, it really bugged me, and it shouldn't have done. You know, it's, yeah, it's. Um, I think it's going to be updated. Um, it's going to be changed. But yeah, it really, really got to me, and I thought I just need to have a break um, from this. Do you know, like, so I just I didn't have the PC on um, all weekend. Um, I went out in the garden. I know, saying about the noise. Um, did a bit of gardening on the Friday afternoon, um, and then Saturday came up with this well, not crackpot idea, but this little project I wanted to do. So I built a um, planter, a raised planter. So it's probably just under a metre off the ground sort of thing, you know, raised things so you don't have to bend over and hurt your back to to work in it. And yeah, so that was Saturday and Sunday and it, it turned out rather well. There were pictures on, uh, there was pictures on Discord. Um, and it was just nice to be outside, got the old brain cells working. I found a drawing um, on like a garden centre website of this planter. Quite like the look of it. Thought, oh, okay, I can do that. So yeah, went and bought the went and bought the timber. Treated myself to a uh, a chop saw because obviously that was uh, going to speed things up. Um, and yeah, it was great fun, and it, it turned out really, really well, if I do say so myself. So yeah, just got to uh, get a couple more bags of uh, compost and whatnot, and then have a look what can be planted this time of year. There's not really much. Um, there's a few, um, few things that you can sort of put in all year round, but... Uh, yeah it was good fun and it was a nice break um, from sitting at a screen because that's what I do for my job um, and obviously and I'm recording and editing and don't get me wrong I enjoy it but sometimes you just need a little bit of a break and it was good to be outside in the fresh air um, tinkering so yeah that was my escape, <laughs> I guess you'd say. But yeah, worked out really cool, and I was very pleased with it. So, um, I think we probably need to hop and empty the fent. So what I'll do is, we'll get down to the end of this run, I'll hop over and do that, and then I'll catch you when we finish the uh, next headland, I think. So we've paused the uh, harvesting for a minute, just because um, nearly full um, and we've got the case delivering to the silo um, at the moment just because I think what I'm going to do is to keep things moving a little bit smoother uh, we'll dump it in there and then we can use the lorry um, and the trailer to move it to the drying shed um, when we're ready for it basically so to get ready for it <laughs> come on to this point so I just quickly show you. We'll go with, um, although we're not going to, it's not we're not going to sell to that. We'll use the hundred and seventy pounds, um, and I have times that by. Let me just show you. Full disclosure: thirty-seven and a half thousand liters. So one hundred and seventy times thirty-seven point five gives £6,375. So, remove 
six three seven five done and then if we go into this one and find wood chips there we go fill that now i will drive this myself because it's only just down the road um get this into the drying shed grain dryer oh, i call it a drying shed grain drying shed um and then we can kick off drying the barley because the price is good in july so I'll see you down there, we'll get this tipped, and we'll start off the uh, drying process. So just tipping in the wood chips, we've got the fence unloaded again, there we go, lovely, so what we can do now is walk round here, and at the game save of course <laughs> there we go dry barley and we can activate that super so that's going to run through it does run quite at a nice speed <laughs> um and then so that'll just chug away in the background should have enough wood chips for that lot um and then we can possibly sell some in this episode opening up the field now and i have drafted in the t8 new holland um just so we've got another trailer about really so we can just crack on through and get the harvest all done but yeah i think um i don't know what to do with regarding the loans i need to once we've got to the end and turn around, we'll have a look. Because if we can pay some off now, because um, all we really need to have is enough money to maintain the, the equipment and uh, keep it fueled up, etc. So we may be able to pay some off now um, and give ourselves an idea of the scale of the task that we've got left. We do have... Um, or we have had should i say some calves so um i am tempted to sell those now um the other beef cattle are um rapidly approaching the age where i think they're at the best price um i think they're at about 3333 to be precise um so yeah i think we could probably end up selling the calves today there we go we won't bother with a uh, a cattle trailer we'll just um sell them directly from the field so whilst that is going let's just have a look at there we go the loan so we've got one point uh one million forty eight thousand so should we, i reckon we could probably pay off let's say four hundred and fifty thousand there we go super 155 grand left let's get the auger out and like, call a tractor um because some of the kit is getting on a bit now um it will take a fair amount of cash to get it repaired so yeah 155 grand is a decent float i think so i'll get unloaded and then we will hop to the cow pasture sell the calves and then we'll come back and uh yeah push on with harvest so down at the uh open range beef pasture it's, yeah it is a pasture um, right, so we've got 100, I think, of each, haven't we? Yeah, so sell 60, and then click you again, and that's another 50k, 51,000, nearly 52k in. Um, quite looking forward to when we sell the... Uh, actual the other beef cattle to be fair because they'll bring in a tidy amount 
so now let's just find where everything is you are in the way there we go you would have thought that the case would have thought maybe to uh you know reverse and drive around it never mind that's that all emptied again pull out of here and leave that there and set it off to go and get filled up again how much have we actually got left no wrong menu scroll up oh hardly worth uh in fact what we'll do is we will send that to pick it up uh, keep an eye on it and then we can bring that back and that can be for the chickens i think for now because we do need to keep those fed as well eggs are have a look not the best price at the minute when do we need to wait till november okay we'll see how we get on right let's find ourselves there we go a an an a, a x9 an x9 sounds weird doesn't it right turn that on and off we go up and down the field we'll get this side done first and then we got what three passes that side so yeah not taking long um but yeah we are making progress so we're on to the last uh block of the wheat and we're just uh, topping up the uh, new holland and the uh kipper trailer just to get it right to the brim whether we'll get full before it uh detects the headland or not not too fussed because that's a decent uh, a decent load going in anyway and i've just noticed that we're double counting on uh, the wheat so we've got 65,000 liters um in the in the silo we've done two loads and uh, yeah it's double counting which is not annoying it doesn't really matter to be fair but uh, yeah, just need to be aware of that when we're looking at the price that we might get because obviously it'll be half of that. So now, do we want to run down that edge or put in? Which should be okay, I think. Put in. Uh, we'll go on this one. There we go. Roll W set the old cruise control and lower down now I will bail all this again um, just trying to think of a slightly quicker way to do it um, not sure what trailers we've got in that could take the bales as in auto load trailers big trailers um, We'll have to see, I think, on that one. But, uh, yeah, just trying to be efficient, I think the word is. And the trailers are getting all hung up on one another again. Which is mildly annoying. <laughs> but that's just me being picky and wanting everything to be perfect each time. There we go. Right, I think what I'm going to do is... We'll keep this running till the end of the row because we're not we are fed up quickly but we've got a trainer there waiting for us um i'll hop over to the fence and uh, just unload the trailer into the chickens if they will take it if not we'll just park it up um and then we will have a look at how much dry barley we've got i think so we'll see you in a second so let's get the auger out and call the case and if we just take a look like i said we were going to uh dry wheat so far we've got fifty-five thousand liters of the stuff which is epic i love how quick this runs modder has just <laughs> had the right idea that's my kind of production that is funny that 
Um, so, we've got pro we one, we've got one pass, one, two, three, four, four passes left, so most likely another trailer load, the way we're going, um, very pleased with the yield, it's, uh, it's not a bad size field, this one, um, but yeah, now, the other thing that I just want to make sure we don't do is carry on driving whilst the combine is full. There we go. That's going to confuse the worker, but never mind. So let's just see what else is potentially ready to harvest. So we've got 64. Which one was our corn? that one so yeah 68 so we got 64 which is wheat yeah cool so that's more to dry which is good um we've done the barley canola we can't dry sugar beet we can't dry and soybeans we can't dry so that's fine come on worker there we go so yeah we've got another field that we can put through the dryer which and that field is going to yield hopefully fingers crossed rather well and it's a bigger field as well so jobs are good and now i meant to say earlier um i have put in the cell point for the dryer can we go here yes we can here so all right not 100 realistic but at least it's on the way um, near a silo so that's the delivery point um, that we'll use once we get to it now just still trying to think about bailing I have not decided yet so where are we here we are we can now turn that back on we will just see if the worker will stay with the no <laughs> I think it'll come back but we may as well just wait until we're full. <laughs> Murphy's Law that it parks in the middle of the row <laughs> that we want to harvest. But I suppose we could always turn right, couldn't we? But yeah, I don't think it's going to be a massively long video today. Um, like I said before, we're not going to rush things. Um, one harvest per episode is plenty with the size of these fields um you can, how cool is that we can just see in the distance the uh, new holland tipping into the silo probably didn't need to um but a bit late to change it now we'll leave things just in case we end up deleting crops or whatever um but yeah i do like to be able to see the other kit moving around the map even on this 4x map it's quite cool that we can see it off in the distance so let's get the old header up wait for the straw to stop and turn now with these slightly shorter passes we should be all right for space in the combine tank Just admiring the view <laughs> sorry sorry for the silence um i do feel like you and i think um the disturbed has said this before you know like sometimes you feel like you've got to be talking um even though there's the background sound of the combine working away um yeah it's sort of a an awkward silence but yeah try to try to fill it with some random waffle <laughs> right um we'll push on a bit further um we will attempt to get the case to move out the blooming way um and uh, yeah we'll uh, get this one all done so last run down the field and then that will be another field ticked off from a harvest point of view we have got about eight percent space in the case um don't think all this is going to fit in it but the new holland should be on the way back now 
Um, I think we're going to use the uh, Mark Thor quick bale to get this one done. Um, we can leave the bales in the field for now um, as we're not going to be planting anything else in here so yeah we've got to we can just leave them and we can sort out is that clear enough you swine um <laughs> sorry mildly distracted then oh squirrel um yes yeah, so we can leave the bales in the field for now um and collect them at another point uh in time so i think that is the plan so all i need to do is find a tractor probably the John Deere, I think. Um, hook it up onto the baler and get it down here. Goodness knows how many bales we'll get. Um, I wouldn't even want to guess. But then that'll be it done. And uh, yeah, we can just move on. Probably going to be the canola next. Let's just have a quick look. He says. There we go. Uh, canola. Any time now, really. So, well, it'll be next month now, won't it? It'll be August. So, what I might do is, after this episode, advance to August. Um, we will keep an eye on the dairy herd and keep those all fed because we do have. Um, plenty of ingredients left to keep feeding them, so as long as we can do that, we'll keep hold of them. The beef, again, they've got plenty of hay, but they may well be at max value soon, so they could be going in the next episode as well. Once we've moved on to another month, they'll increase in value, and yeah, all that good stuff. Now, can I be cheeky? and unload into here before it moves off and notices we'll see right <laughs> just stay where you are right we'll get this unloaded i'll grab a baler and i'll see you in a minute well slight change of plan but i'd use the fence just because i love this mod um three bales dropped already and um, we did have some in the baler so um yeah we'll say say three and a half uh, no two and a half there you go whatever um but yeah i think uh yeah i just feel like i've not really used this little fence too much lately um i guess with only being on here once every what couple of weeks i guess um yeah, I guess it does feel like I've not used it much, so it sounds like I'm stating the obvious. Um, and I guess that's why I'm not too worried in the sense that we are repeating jobs. Um, because there's so long between uh, episodes on here at the moment. Um, it, it, yeah, I'm not too worried about harvesting, baling, harvesting, baling, etc. So, yeah, I'm okay with it. Um, obviously we won't be able to do anything with the canola field and whether we bother with the other wheat field um, I'm not sure uh, because one it's probably quite a distance um, to cart the bales um, and two I would imagine that there'll be so many um, with the size of the field um, that it'd be a bit ridiculous but we'll see you know we'll, every Every bale helps um, towards clearing that debt. Um, let's actually, whilst that is still running there, let's take a quick peek at... No, not the contract. The dryer, nearly 90,000 litres through it already, which is rather good. So I think the plan is just to clear the headlands, done that end already, um, and then whiz up and down the rows and with this piece of kit it's not going to take long at all i don't know whether it's because i've just eaten or whether it's just the drone and the, the nice 
sort of background noise, but I find myself driving up and down here. My eyes are going. Just feel I could I could have a nap. <laughs> Ever so strange. Just that sort of constant whirring. Very quite a relaxing sound, to be fair. Um, what was I going to say? So, two things. One, thank you to Patreons and YouTube channel members. You lot are brilliant. Thank you very, very much. And secondly, I was driving home from work yesterday. Yesterday, yeah. Um, and there's a certain bit I come to where they got corn planted. Um, well, it was planted because they were chopping it. Um, they got a big crone uh, forage harvester and uh, a couple of tractors. I could, I think one was a New Holland, definitely. Couldn't th see what the other one was. But, uh, yeah, they were uh, making the most of, as he looks out the window, away from the microphone, unprofessional, um, the break in the rain because it's been um, torrential on and off <laughs> the past uh, few days. So, yeah, they were... Uh, chopping the corn which was pretty cool to see I mean they were taking it pretty steady they weren't um, hurtling but uh, yeah it was really really cool to see um, and then a bit further down the road where I've mentioned before about where they have a sort of an overflow for I'm gonna say digest because I don't know any different um, they were pumping they got an old I think it was a 7810 John Deere um, and that was running the pump and then <clears throat> excuse me I couldn't actually see uh, what the tractor was but uh, yeah there was a, a tanker being pumped into so yeah it was uh, all go yesterday I think uh, like I say probably making the most of a break in the rain um, storm is it Agnes has been battering parts of the UK. I think we got off uh, quite lightly here. A um, bit of rain and a bit of wind, but nothing nothing too bad as to what some people have uh, been getting. So, I didn't reset the counter on the baler, but we've got 45 um, bales so far at 11,000 litres, so not too shabby at all. So I will push on, do some more, and I'll see you when I've nearly finished. So I've managed to stay awake. <laughs> uh, not that you, not that you lot are boring me. It's fine, honest. Um, just want to say we got one hundred and forty-seven thousand liters, or just over, of wheat off of this field. There goes another bale. Fantastic. So we can turn off and lift that up we'll fold it as well and let's of course it's going to save isn't it what's that three four times this episode goodness me uh we got 56 bales not bad indeed chickens are all topped up well as much as they can be really uh eggs have been produced cattle are fine the hay We've got, oh, we've had some, some babbies. I didn't realise we'd had uh, more calves in there. Um, that'll be why the food is going down a little bit quicker than the other one. Um, I might go and sell those once this episode is done with. Um, but yeah, we'll keep an eye in August um, how these are doing, whether they go up in value anymore or not. Don't want to be too greedy because we've got a fair amount of money sitting there. Um, but yeah, that's it. Um, we've produced so far 127,000 litres and go and, um, and going and it's, and it's still going, I was meant to say, um, of the dry barley. So we'll have a look at selling that potentially next time. Uh, let's have a quick dry barley. Yeah. I mean, hundred and. 112,000 litres. Um, decent peak now, but maybe we wait for Jan. Mm, don't know. We'll see. Um, but yes, thank you very, very much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed the episode. If you have, leave us a like, and I'll catch you 
in the next one. Take care.